I'm Johnny with Balloon Animals Palm Beach and today I'm going to show you how to make a balloon that reminds people of Iron Man. You will need two gold chrome 260s, three red 260s, one white five inch round, and one pre-printed Iron Man five inch round red balloon. Grab your red 260 and inflate it so you have about a 10 finger tail. Now you're gonna make a one finger bubble, make a pinch twist, Make a three finger bubble, make a pinch twist, make a three finger bubble, make a pinch twist, make a seven finger bubble, make a pinch twist. Make a three finger bubble, make a pinch twist, make a three finger bubble, make a pinch twist, make a one finger bubble, get rid of the extra, tie that off. So this is what you should have so far. This represents this part of the torso from shoulder to shoulder and the arms. So this is like the shoulder corner. This is the bicep, elbow, forearm, and hand, and the other arm. Grab your gold chrome 260 and inflate it so you have about an 11 finger tail. Now you're gonna take the nozzle on your gold chrome 260 and you're gonna wrap it into the pinch twist that represents the elbow. And you want to bring the gold balloon to the pinch twist that represents the shoulder and twist it into that pinch twist. And if you rotate the balloon as you wrap it in, so you're turning this balloon as you wrap it in, you'll find you get less popping. Now you're going to make a six finger bubble with the gold balloon. Make a pinch twist. Make another six finger bubble, same size as this one. And you're gonna wrap that twist into the pinch twist that represents the shoulder on the opposite side from where you just start creating the triangular shape. So now if you kind of rotate this, what you have is, this is sort of like the bicep here the elbow, arm, this is the rest of the torso. So now you want to take this gold balloon which is coming out of the opposite side shoulder pinch twist and wrap it into the pinch twist that represents the elbow. On the other arm, get rid of the extra, tie that off. So that's what you should have so far. His torso and arms. Let's keep working on the rest of his chest, abs, and torso. Grab your red 260 and inflate it so you have about a 10 finger tail. Now you want to wrap the nozzle into one of the pinch twists that represents the shoulder. And you're going to draw it across and make a bubble the same size as this one. And you're going to wrap it into the opposite shoulder pinch twist. So now you have two bubbles there. Make a three finger bubble. And you wanna twist this a lot because we're gonna manipulate it in a minute. Make a one finger bubble. Again, twist this one a lot. Make a one finger bubble, twist it a lot. Now you're gonna take this twist here and you're gonna wrap it into the pinch twist at the bottom of the gold triangle. 
and you want it to now be um, beside this, these two one finger bubbles that you just made. So now make another one finger bubble and twist this a lot just like you did the other one. Make another one finger bubble, twist it a lot. Make a three finger bubble and you're going to wrap this twist into the shoulder pinch twist. On, it's the opposite side from where you started. Get rid of the extra. Tie that off. So that's what you should have so far. That's the back. That's the front. That's the top. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take these four one finger bubbles and you're just going to rotate two over the other two. So you're just twisting them in place. And then you create his abs and his pecs. Grab your next gold chrome 260 and inflate it so you have about an eight finger tail. Take the nozzle and wrap it into the pinch twist at the bottom of the gold triangle. Make a six finger bubble. Make a pinch twist. This is his thigh and knee. So now you want to bring the balloon back. You're going to wrap it into the pinch twist where you started, the gold pinch twist at the point of the triangle. So make another six finger bubble, same size as this one, and wrap it into that pinch twist. And if you rotate the balloon as you twist, you have less chance of it popping. It's a little easier to manipulate. So now you want to make another six finger bubble, same size as this one. All right, that's six fingers. Make a pinch twist. Make another six finger bubble, same size as this one. And you're gonna wrap that twist into the gold pinch twist that's at the point of the triangle to create this other side. Get rid of the extra, tie that off. So this is what you have so far, his thighs, knees, torso, and arms. That's the back, that's the front. Grab your next red 260. And inflate it so you have about an eight finger tail. Make a pinch twist. Now you're going to take this pinch twist, put it next to one of the gold pinch twists that represents his knee, and just twist those two pinch twists together. Bring the red balloon up so it's in between the two pinch twists. Make a three finger bubble. Make a pinch twist. Now you're making his calf and ankle and boot, his foot. So you want to make a little two finger loop. Wrap that in the pinch twist. So you've completed his leg and shoe there. Make a three finger spacer bubble. Make a pinch twist. Now we're going to do the other shoe and leg. So make a two finger loop, same size as this one. Wrap that in the pinch twist. Make another three finger bubble, same size as his other shen calf. Make a pinch twist. You're going to put that red pinch twist against the gold pinch twist that represents his other knee. And twist those two pinch twists together. Get rid of the extra. Tie that off. Then all you have to do is just adjust these pinch twists so that the legs sit a certain way. I usually put the red and pinch twist in front and the gold pinch twist in back. But it's up to you how you want his knees to look. Make sure you just rotate any loops or pinch twist so his feet are facing the right way. This pinch twist is the point of the triangles towards the back. So this is what you have so far. That's the front. That's the back. You're ready to put on the head. Grab your red pre-printed Iron Man five inch round balloon. <laughs> and inflate it so it's just a little bit bigger than one's hand. It's about, uh, about an eight finger bubble. You're gonna take this nozzle here. You're gonna put it in between these two bubbles, these red bubbles at the torso. 
We're going to pull it down the back and wrap it into this gold pinch twist that's at the point of the gold triangle. So that's the front and that's the back. And you'll notice you have this, this string now from this balloon. We're going to go ahead and grab your white five inch round, inflate it so you have a two finger bubble, one or two finger bubble, just a little one. You're going to take that nozzle, you're going to put it in between the two bubbles that represent its pecs on its chest, and you're going to just tie this white nozzle around the red string that's coming from his head balloon. So now he's got his little chest flight there. You can see it's tied to that string. And you can be done, or if you want to take a yellow Sharpie paint pen and just color in his pre-printed face here for a finishing touch, that's, if you have the time, that's fun. I just color in this section and this section with my yellow Sharpie paint pen. And that's how you make a balloon that reminds people of Iron Man. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do release videos on a regular basis. Or you can leave me comments or feedback below. Or check me out on Instagram, Facebook, or my website, Balloon Animals, Palm Beach.